Painting is about capturing shapes. Whether it's a ball or a battleship, the process is exactly the same. It's either flat or three-dimensional. In this exercise, I'm going to paint a three-dimensional subject. It's going to be my dog, Bullet, and he's a Jack Russell. And a great mate he is, smart as a whip, and still that way in the finished painting. So how do I paint him? My colours are ultramarine blue, alizarin red, yellow ochre, cerulean blue, cadmium yellow deep, light red and white. Now he's a lively little customer and unless I snap freeze him, he won't stand still. He'll chase anything that takes his hyper normal attention. So the best way to get an image of him is with the camera. It doesn't have to be a break the bank pro camera. A little digital point and shoot will do the trick just as well and I like to get down to their level to shoot, so they stay in proportion. Anyhow, get a number of photos and then look over them and pick out the best one. I've drawn a one inch grid over the photo, six across and four down. Then I grid up the canvas with six spaces across and four down, equal but bigger. Use the ruler to keep them straight. Set the photo beside the painting pad and sketch Bullet's outline. Where his outline passes through the lines in the photo, I copy on the grid on the canvas. Any way you choose to do the drawing, freehand or by grid, locate the dog just off centre and about a third up. Now to the painting. First, the grass behind Bullet, and that's a blue, grey, yellow. I use thinner so the paint flows easy and stay outside the outline. Up close, it's more colourful with yellows and greens, plus darks and light because it's closer. I'm using a one inch kitchen pastry brush and it's great for this. Even getting in and around those tight areas, it works. Give it a clean for next time. Everything's in place now. Now to Bullet. I'm going to drop down to an even smaller brush now to block in the colours within his shape. Then I'm going to drop down an even smaller brush to pick up all the detail both in Bullet and in the grass. There's shadow on Bullet's white chest and a mix of blue-grey goes on with a number four flat bristle brush. It's thin so it covers quickly. He's got a lovely brown spot on his back, so a bit of yellow and light red does the trick. There's one on his tail, and on his proud Russell head. This is basically colouring in, folks, something we did as kids. Now an off-white mix for his coat, staying within the lines and checking the photo. Good brush for this tight part of the painting. That nose of his needs some paint. Now more shadow under his body and back legs. My magnifier is a big help here, getting me into the detail. cleaning up there, pushing the background up to the outline. A deep shadow coloured blue and red for under bullet in the grass. Now that stops him from floating in the air. Bullet like most dogs, sweat through his mouth, and he has a pink tongue in an open mouth, so in it goes. 
With his head colours blocked in, it's time to get in the darks and shape things. His eyes and ears, his mouth, a dark from ultra blue and light red. Perfect. Yep, looking pretty close to Bullet now. These areas merge together, so I'll run the two paint areas into each other. A light brown now for his brown markings, but in sunlight. I take care here because what I do now is important to the final look. Highlights must be sneaked up on. An even darker dark now on the liner brush for some more detailed shaping of the ear. Now to the mouth, again, and more shape. This brush has a good point for that small work. A thick, slightly off-white for Bullet's coat, and back to the bristle brush. The tooth on the canvas holds this thick paint well. I let it merge with the brown here and there to keep it looking natural. Some light brown again to lift the spot and the tail. The small brush to clean up around the nose and head. OK, into the grass in the front. Back to the pastry brush and a thin mix of dark green purple for the shadows. Up and down strokes to replicate the direction of the grass. This brush can do anything if it's shaped right. Straggly hairs can lift paint off the palette and deposit it too. Look, like grass. Looking good. Some more and well, yep. That's how grass looks, folks. Better get some detailed darks in there to offset those lights. And the liner brush is champion here. Up and down, great. Now, off with the tape and let's see what we have. There you go, a bullet speed painting of my dog, Bullet. See you next time on You Can Paint Painting Tips. Check out my website and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.